Hello, today we're going to analyze fantasy football data using R. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some data from the internet. Uh, so we're going to go to fantasydata.com and I will post the, uh, the link on the description page. All right, and today we want to know uh, how does Jared Goff do uh, fantasy wise when Cooper Cup is on the field compared to when he's not? So we're going to take uh, Jared Goff's uh, 2018 numbers, which are here. His fantasy points are fantasy points are here, and then Cooper Cup's numbers for 2018. So he was hurt uh, for a number of games, and uh, so you're not going to have all the all the uh, stats for all the games, only for the games he played. All right, so. Uh, I pre-downloaded the, the files, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, activate the dply r package. Uh, we're going to set our working directory. I have my uh, the data in the downloads my down downloads folder. I'm going to bring in um, the uh, Goff data and the Cooper Cup data. So you see they're going to show up here, so you can see. We have Jared Goff's data, the fantasy fantasy points are all the way to the right, and as well as our Cooper Cup data. Just the, this one's just the fantasy points and the targets. All right, so right here what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to name a variable Cooper1. So we're going to say the this right here, uh, uh, cup is just the we're calling this data right here so this data file and we're gonna filter where we only want uh, we only want games where he had one or less targets and then we're gonna call this uh, we're gonna use the mutate and then cup equals uh, cup played and sorry, this was uh, uh, targets is greater than or equal to one. I think I said it in reverse. All right, so once we once we run that that line, we could see that these are the weeks that he played. These are the targets he had. Uh, these were the fantasy points uh, Cooper Cup scored, and it shows here Cup played. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to join the Cooper Cup and the Jared Goff data by doing just naming uh, the variable Goff one. So we're going to call the Goff data, which is right here. We're going to do a left join with the Cooper Cup one by week. So when we run this. We have Cooper Cup's data all the way on the right hand side. And now what we're gonna do here is where the cup where Cooper Cup did not play, right? It would be um, is an A, right? There'd be a a, a null. So what we're gonna do we're gonna make it to where it's gonna if there's a if there's an NA, if Cup didn't play um, there's going to be a cup not played. All right, and then we're going to summarize the data using uh, the summarize function in dplyr. So we're going to name this variable. Sorry, we're going to run this. So if we look at this cough one data now, so it's actually telling us where what games. Uh, Cooper Cup played and which ones he didn't play. So you can see there's going to be some NAs where he didn't play. Alright, and then we're going to go here, going to create a pivot table. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to do the Goff 1, and then we're going to group by Cup. So if whether he played or, he, or Cooper Cup didn't play, 
and then we're going to summarize it by Goff's fantasy points, which is going to be just the mean, the average fantasy points per game, and then the total number of games that Cooper Cup played. All right, so if we click on this pivot table, you can see here. So when Cooper Cup did not play, uh, Jared Goff on average scored uh, 17.2 fantasy points, and that was a total of eight games where Cooper Cup didn't play. When Cooper Cup did play, um, Goff's uh, average fantasy points uh, jumped up to 21.5. Uh, and those were eight, there were eight games where he played and he received at least one target.